guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. <laughs> I don't know if you all can hear RG in the background, but he did the intro as well. So basically we are on our way to Home Depot. We are gonna be updating the man cave. Rob, are you so excited? Super excited. We're Hope super excited. RG super excited no, too. We are going I'm to be excited too. Okay, good. You're super excited too? Yeah. Yay. Again, say it again. You're saying you're sorry, so say it again. Only you can make my world go black. Say you love me, then you take it back. Say it again, say it again. All right, you guys, so this is what the man cave is looking like. Let me just kind of give you a once over of what we're dealing with. Archie's crib is in here. Don't really even know why, but it's here and we've got extra shelving from my office makeover, or not my office, my closet makeover. We've got curtains, we've got random, just random stuff everywhere. Oh, we've got an address, gotta cover that up. We just have random stuff every which way and we're gonna clean it out so this is the cleaning phase of the transformation rob is beyond hype at this point <laughs> we are testing out some paint colors up here you saw that we went to home depot we have our painting supplies we have a curtain rod this is the curtain rod rob wanted to go with it's that an industrial kind of look and this is the color pretty much black it's gonna look awesome, I'm excited. We're gonna be doing the walls plus ceiling. So it's gonna be very dark, probably the inside of the closet as well to make it look very like man cave-esque. So are you ready, Roberto? I'm a little Roberto in there. <laughs> Let's get this cleared out. I kind of like that it's like messy because it makes the transformation look better. So this is what we're dealing with. This is the before and then this is the after. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, this is just the first coat. We're gonna have to go back through and kind of cover up some of the streaking, but so far, so good. I love the dark. I think it's gonna look so, so nice. Ooh, careful there. <laughs> careful left foot. 
So yeah, this is what it's looking like. We plan on painting the ceiling. I told you all this, so that's why there is paint up on the ceiling. It's supposed to be there. We're gonna paint it all. Um, we were thinking about painting the doors, but we're gonna just leave them white and then see maybe later how we feel, how they look, what they look like. And yeah, Rob is going in right now. He's got his painter's ensemble, painter's <laughs> stance, looking like a real pro. I am going to do a little online shopping for the man cave. We picked out a couple of things, but we didn't purchase it. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're actually gonna like add stuff to the cart and order it that way. By the time this is all dry, well, it'll dry before then, but you know what I mean. Like it'll be dry, cleaned out, organized, and then um, our furniture should be arriving. All right, you guys, so after the first coat, this is what the room is looking like. It looks really good. Um, might have to hire myself for the next project around here, but uh, we just have to give it a second coat of paint. One little hiccup we did run into is that I ran out of paint, so I couldn't get the ceiling and get a second coat of paint going, so I kind of head into the home improvement store and get some more paint. Um, I'm hoping I don't need more than one gallon, but I'm not sure. It's looking like I'm gonna need to buy two more, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, you guys, so we just got home and I wanted to do a quick little haul. Like, this is gonna be super quick. We went to Home Goods and I got this artwork that I thought would be perfect above um, the toilet in <laughs> Briella's bathroom. I just thought it was really, really cute. You all know we have artwork in Archie's bathroom, so I had to hook my girl up. It's like a little ballerina outfit and I just think it's gonna look so cute with the pink shower curtains that we have in there. And then we went Christmas crazy at Home Depot. We got some snowflakes. We got some uh, snowflake lights. We've got a reindeer. We actually got two reindeer. Where's the other one? Okay. So we got a second reindeer over here, which I thought would be so cute. We've got bows. Um, we're gonna put them on our lantern lights outside. We got two, two bows. This stuff in here is super boring. It's just extension cords, clips for the lights. Uh, we got more stringing lights. I'm gonna put it on the poles outside. I think it would look really, really cute. More clips, command hooks, random stuff for the lights. So that's all Christmas. We got some more paint. We're gonna continue painting the man cave. So we got more paint for the ceiling. And then we got these mirrors. Okay, it's hard to take it all in, but I'm just gonna show you. It's basically, it looks like this. So this part right, right here is magnetic, and then there's like little openings here. This is gonna go in RG's bedroom above his dresser. I'm not totally in love with the artwork. I kind of want to rearrange a little bit. You guys, this looks, this looks crazy. We are still in a process. These are all of our lights and RG has been pulling that stuff up. It looks really bad, but this is just our reality right here in the dining room. <laughs> so yeah, that just ignore, pretend that's not even there. So I actually got two of these and my thought process is putting them next to each other um, because his dresser is very long. So I figured putting them next to each other would be really cute I want to put like little magnets in here I think it would be adorable little toys in here and I think this is the mirror is gonna make so much more sense than having just artwork above his dresser and we're gonna remove the floor length mirror let's take a little field trip okay so up in RG's room instead of the wall art here we're going to put those two uh, big mirrors which that does look kind of big, but I think it'll fit. I think it'll work. We're gonna experiment, it's fine. If not, we can just return it. And then moving these wall art pieces, either I was thinking of doing one, two, three right here, or above the bed, one, two, three. We're gonna play around with it, ignore his unmade bed. He's three, cut him some slack. And then we're gonna remove this. So I'm gonna take this off the wall. You remember we had it drilled into the wall. We're gonna take it off because I noticed that during his quiet time, he's getting up. He's like sitting over here and this just makes me nervous. So I'm gonna, even though it's drilled to the wall, I just, I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> so we're gonna take this down, move the baby monitor up here. And then I think I'm gonna 
turn this into like a little cozy corner and have like pillows down here, maybe like a little chair, something, I don't know, to make this like cozy where he can have his quiet time. If he doesn't wanna be in his bed, he can come over here and sit and chill. And yeah, I think the mirrors are gonna look really good. So hopefully they fit. I didn't do any type of measuring. You guys, we're just gonna wing it and go for it. And this is just the process. All right, you guys. So in case any of you were wondering, yes, I'm gonna install these mirrors on that wall to my left over there, but I wanted to show you guys exactly how I'm gonna do it. So let me show you the back. So as you can see, this is what the reverse of the mirror looks like. I'm gonna be using some drywall anchors and some monkey hooks or some screws, depending on what um, I feel comfortable with. We're gonna be utilizing these little tabs on the end here, these little hooks. Hook these onto some screws straight into the wall and they should be able to support the weight. It's gonna look really, really cool. So you guys Keep watching. But I'm longing for your face. I need you here. I'm feeling out of place. My heart is yours. I'm giving in to you. No matter what, I always will be true. Next time you're here, I'll never let you go. You're everything I ever need. All right, you guys. So I ran into a bit of a snag here. The reverse of this mirror doesn't have the correct amount of hooks that I need to hang this properly where both mirror sides are touching. So I might have to reverse these um, hooks on here so that I can have the mirror side touching on the wall and Kara will love what I've done with the place. All right, you guys, so this is the finished product. Everything looks awesome. I say everything, but there were only two pieces to attach, but um, it really complements the room very well. So I appreciate Kara for even, you know, thinking this up on the fly in the store. So shout out to Kara for thinking about this, uh, for having the foresight, but um, yeah, this is it. You guys, I am absolutely in love with it. I think it looks so good. This is such a win. Oh my gosh. I feel like it's perfect with the dresser. Rob's going to take that down. RG's playing over there in the corner. He's about to have quiet time. But what I'm going to do is I went down in our toy bin and I got some magnets. So this part right here is magnetic. So I'm just going to put little toys kind of in these little compartments. And it's just, it's about to be really, really cute. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to show you how Rob is going to be patching up the holes in the wall. He just has some of this, um, this is mesh tape right here. You can barely see it, but it's mesh tape. So basically all he's going to do is take his mesh tape. He already did these over here. And then, yeah, you just tape it on to where your hole is. And that pretty much prevents the putty from going into the hole basically. And it makes it flat. So. These are key, the tape is key. Okay, so now you can see Rob is patching up the hole on top of the mesh tape. He's gonna make like an even coat, let that dry, sand it down, and then paint it. Uh -huh. Super easy. Super easy. I'm gonna tell you that I love you 100 times a day. Tell you that I'll miss you. I'll miss you if you go. Yes, I'm gonna let you know just how much I tell you, Mama. I tell you, Papa, too. I'm gonna let everyone know about my love. So I really hope you love me. Tell you that I 